Okay, Mr. Sansomino, back at you. Question number five, we're still talking about science. All right, look at the question. What are we always doing? We're looking for the key word. All right, which object is the best conductor of electricity? We're looking for the best conductor of electricity, but the key word here is conductor. Okay, and what is a conductor? It's something that allows us to transfer energy, we'll call it energy E, from one point to another, okay? All right, this thing right here, that's the conductor. Now we're trying to figure out which is the best conductor of electricity, okay? Well, the first choice that they give us is a wax crayon. Now I know if you ever used a crayon and you ever tried to use it to conduct energy, what's going to happen to the crayon? It's going to melt, okay? So this is definitely gone, okay? A plastic spoon, they use plastic spoons specifically because they don't conduct electricity. If you take a plastic spoon and you put it in a microwave, what's going to happen? It's going to begin to melt. Plastic is not a very good conductor of electricity. As a matter of fact, they use plastic to cover wires to prevent electricity from being conducted outside. So we know that this is gone. All right, a rubber eraser, another non-conductor of electricity. People who work on the train tracks, they wear rubber boots to prevent them from getting electrocuted. So rubber blocks energy, no good. But an iron nail, okay, iron, we're always thinking about chemical elements, periodic table, chemistry. Which object is the best conductor of electricity? Well, you know it's gotta be an iron nail, okay, because iron is one of the best conductors of electricity. So that's gotta be the right answer. Okay, and always go back to your keywords. Conductor, electricity, has to be iron. Very good.